Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley with Fitness Bitch Ashley, here to bring you some fit talk and workout videos. So today we're gonna be discussing how to schedule your workouts. When I'm gonna have time to work out? If you have that question, stay tuned. Okay, so this is a one of those questions that most people have but don't really know how to ask for help with because people typically feel like, like you should know when you have time to work out when most people don't because it's just the way we prioritize things, especially if you have a family. Um, and now with COVID, you're in the house all the time or you're working from home or you're extremely busy trying to keep your business afloat or you're just really doing well and you have started a business and you're busy so it's so many scenarios to why you have not started your workout because you're like i don't have time so i want to get into three tips on how to help you schedule your workout so tip number one first you want to get a blank calendar uh, a blank sheet of paper if you don't have a calendar but if you can print out a blank calendar get you a blank calendar and you want to write down your worship time first not everybody worship and i understand that but those who do worship you want to put that worship that bible study um this is a christian channel so i don't want to offend anyone that is not christian so if you whatever you study whatever you study in a spiritual um if you just um very holistic and you really believe in the universe and whatever you worship or believe in or pray to put that on your schedule first a lot of people do that in the morning before they get their day started some have to do it on lunch or some people have to do it before bedtime so whenever you are in um, church service or you're watching your online service put that on it on your schedule first for me that's every sunday at 12 o'clock big shout out to transformation church i am tuned in every sunday at 12 o'clock from 12 to 2 nothing can interrupt that time that is a non-negotiable time for me. Um, I have to be into my worship service. In the morning, before I get my day started, I worship and pray. I pray over my company. I pray over my son. I pray over my family. I pray over those who are around me and those who I come in contact that God has asked me to just love on. So I pray for them. I go ahead and pray for them before they even enter my day. So you want to put that on your calendar first. Second, you want to write down all of your family time. That's homework with your kids. That's date night with your husband or your significant other. Any family time that you have ritually throughout the week, you want to put that on your schedule. You want to make sure that your family time is, is taken seriously. Not, that too is a non-negotiable. So have a time and which child or a group of children or one child, however you're going to do it, make sure that time is on your schedule. Okay. Two, you want, I mean, three, <laughs> I can't count y'all. Three, you want to put down your job. So when you work, you be working at 30 to five, you want to put that down. Keep that block for lunch open. And I'm going to tell you about that later. So you want to put your work schedules, work schedule down. If you are a stay-at-home mom or you work from home and your work schedule is very flexible and you kind of like, I just kind of work when I get up and get going. That's got to stop. You got to have a schedule set for yourself. I am an entrepreneur. I train clients from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. I train from 3.30 to 4.30. I am covering homework from 4.30 to 5.30. And then I'm in the car to see another client in the evening by six o'clock. You, you should be able to run your schedule off like that. So, so, one, so when someone walk up to you and say, hey, 
can you come hang out with us at 6 30 for me no because i'm in the middle of train, training a client but that me that may be your workout time and that's a non-negotiable slot so you got your three fam uh, god first family second and career third now you're gonna see open blocks in your schedule you should see oh my lunch hour or an hour before i go to work or clock in or log on to my laptop for work i have i can actually get up early an hour early and work out there will be open slots now these slots may be may not be open every single day you will probably want that but just realistically that may not happen so monday wednesday friday you may be able to work out in the morning tuesdays and thursday you may be able to pack a gym bag or during your lunch hour at home go outside on your balcony um, i love working outside on my balcony um you can go for a walk you can utilize that hour to get your workout in or in the evening once you put the children to bed you've done homework you've had dinner and you can really put now that's a hard one for me but you can definitely push through a workout at the end of the night shower and go to bed so you want to have a realistic schedule for your lifestyle each week may look different that's why you should have a schedule of what you're doing so Mondays and Tuesdays of one week, you may not be able to work out, but that week you can work out Wednesday and Thursday on your lunch. As long as you're getting four workouts in a week, you are doing really good. Some weeks you may not be able to do four workouts. You may be able to do two workout days, but I'm pretty sure you can do four. But anyway, get those workouts on your schedule so you'll know exactly when you're working out another tip um is to make sure you are getting your workout in is to have your workout clothes laid out ready to go or in your gym bag by the door or already go ahead and put it in the car because that's typically a reason why we we don't work out something comes up up I, I don't even have my workout clothes i don't have my walking shoes i can't do it something is always going to come up during your your workout hour trust me something will always come up and as long as you have it planned and prepared for and ready to go you're gonna you're gonna be good so if you found value to this video and you really feel like that you learned something today definitely hit that thumbs up if you are wanting more information or just more fit talk um, where we sit down and just hash some of those simple things out, hit the subscribe button. Also, um, just tap that notification bell so you'll get notifications every time I post videos. And also, always remember, fitness fits you. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. As you may know, my channel is extremely new. This is my very second video. If you haven't had a chance to watch the first video, definitely click the link. I would love for you to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.